So you had a bad day today. You broke your foot. You got in a car accident. You have no friends. And now for some reason... Each and this every one of you will be sent off to your in a box! You want to take out your anger on random people, so here are five ways to piss off TF2 players. Using the flog. Yep, this is actually my main part weapon. Simply because it's funny as hell and easy to farm up kills with this weapon. TF2 players despise this weapon and might even comment about it in chat. It's so annoying because it's random and pretty much once in you're in the flames of a crit flog, you're already dead. <laughs> There's actually one way to counter this, and that is if you're Ubered. Which, uh, building up Uber is harder than building up crits for the flog. Okay, I swear this video is not for me, but I love spawn camping. Something in me just like seeing a large kill feed. <laughs> it makes me... It makes me feel special. Anyways, this is the most rewarding way to piss off people in my opinion. You can instantly kill an unlimited number of enemy players, they just have to be near your stickies. Like, it's crazy. You can just stand and wait for the kills to come to you. There are many ways to stop spawn campers, believe it or not. And some of the ways are uh, Uber charging, an engineer with a short circuit, but I wouldn't rely on this one though, because um, some spawn campers are really good at what they do. And as soon as that gate opens, like a centimeter, their stickies are already detonated. So good luck. Uh, this goes for air blasting pyros too. Yeah, that's what some players think after you taunt kill them. Honestly, it's no big deal. Taunts are in TF2 for a reason. Just be goofy and forget how bloody the game is. Not for you to get butt hurt. I've seen people lose it just because I taunted after a kill. Well, you want to counter this and not be butt hurt? Just don't suck at TF2 and you won't get taunted after your digital death. Hey bro, have you played this cool new game called Overwatch? The level of salt that players display is not as bad as it was back then when Overwatch was fresh. I remember going through Reddit or just YouTube comments of uh, insecure TF2 players that thought Overwatch was gonna kill TF2 or was hurt that it had similarities. I can somehow resonate with these people because they love TF2 and they don't want it to shrink in popularity. Which I understand, but they were willing to do whatever it took to make Overwatch feel like it was created by the devil himself. Look, this game is somehow still has a vibrant community, and yes, it will die someday, obviously, just not anytime soon. Yep, I saved the worst for last, and that is auto balance. This one hurts me. Deeply because I've gotten salty over this many times It's so soul-sucking and painful to just Try your hardest for your team and at the end of the match you get sent to the opposite team You could even be like top scoring But it doesn't matter you got auto balance 
The only way to counter this is to leave the server because the match is not even worth playing if you have been auto balanced at the last couple of minutes of a match. Too bad I don't have video evidence, but I've been auto balanced seconds right before my ex team won. And I was the reason they won because I put in most of the work. It was one of the most confusing things I ever experienced. I definitely did not get everything because this video will be an hour long. So tell me what gets you guys angry?